I've been a head coach for 28 years and he's done some things I've never had other people do. Bryce Johnson has the ability to dominate a basketball game at both ends of the floor, really unlike any player in college basketball. He's literally unstoppable because of his size and his length and his ability to shoot a turnaround hook shot. You can't block a shot. 39 and 23 at Florida State, 29 and 19 against Duke. I mean, those are numbers that are off the charts. I mean, I'm a back to the basket type of guy, but I can't face up and shoot the mid-range jumper. This year, he's doing everything from playing better ball screen defense to hustle plays. He'll block a couple of shots too, but he's just become a really complete big man this year. He's the best rebounder in the ACC, an absolute star who imposes his will on a game like few others can. I try to push everybody really hard, but I think it has come up more with Bryce. Everybody said, do you have a love-hate relationship with Bryce? I said, no. I said, oh, he's frustrating because I want him to be so great. I love Coach Williams. I mean, a lot of people say we have a love-hate relationship. At the end of the day, he's just, he's just trying to mirror what my father did. I mean, he just, he gets on me. Bryce Johnson is the son of a high school basketball coach. So I think in some ways, Roy Williams feels like he has a little bit more leeway to push Bryce Johnson because he knows that Johnson has been pushed by his own dad on the court his whole life. Came in as a freshman, his work uh, habits were not great. I said on a scale of one to 10, 10 being Tyler Hansbrough, where is your work ethic and your hustle? He said, uh, oh, two or three. I said, you're a zero, <laughs> you know? And so each and every year we've got him up two or three points. I think he has ridden me a little harder than other guys just because he, he knows how how good of a player I could be, and he doesn't want me to be complacent with how I play, and he just wants me to keep getting better. It's not natural for him to work extremely hard. It's just not in his makeup, and so I've been trying to push him for four years. Roy Williams is as intense a coach as there is. He does not accept anything less than full effort, especially from his best players. So the fact that he's been on Bryce Johnson as much as he has is the highest compliment he could possibly pay the young man. He's developed physically just as much as he has mentally. I mean, you look at pictures of him as a freshman and he's a skinny little rascal, but uh, now he gets his hands on the basketball. Now he comes back out with it most of the time. It's been very inspiring to see this progression to where he is now as a senior being a great and dominant player for a great and dominant program. We're right in position to accomplish all of our goals. Just get ready in any way we can to win the big dance. We were fortunate enough to make it to the Sweet 16 last year, and I mean, we did pretty well, but we didn't get to the Final Four that we thought we would, so that's just the biggest thing I would say. For North Carolina to get to a Final Four, to win a national championship, the number one thing they need to do is take advantage of Bryce Johnson. North Carolina is going to go as far as Bryce Johnson takes them. He has to be consistent every single game, and that is something that Carolina has sometimes struggled with, particularly from its other big men, Isaiah Hicks and Kennedy Meeks. So the onus is really on Johnson, I need them to concentrate rebounding-wise, defensively, and continue doing what he's doing on the offensive end. I've gotten to the point where I can play well every night and be locked in and ready to go when it's time to play.